I'm back in my element. I'm back on my grind. This is irrelevant. All that matters is the climb. I'm such a perfectionist. So everything gotta be right. Just setting the precedent. This right here's a testament to my sacrifice. Back in my element. Back in my element. So I was born in England in 1971 to West Indian parents, both from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So I spent the majority of my life in England, went through the England school system and lived just on the outskirts of London, but it was classed as South London, but it was a place called Croydon, but that's where I grew up and that's where I spent the majority of my life. But when my parents came over here in the 1960s, there was always a plan to work hard, buy some land, and return back to St. Vincent and retire over there. And in 1988, that time arrived. At the time I was only 17 years old and I had no choice because I wasn't quite 18, I wasn't quite class as a man. I couldn't make my own choice and say, look, I ain't going anywhere, I'm staying here. So I had to go. So I'm 17 years old, parents packed up, sold the house and went back to St. Vincent. So I had to leave all my friends, everything I knew, leave it all behind and just go to a foreign place that I didn't know anything about, never lived and start a brand new life. And that was very, very difficult. So when I first arrived in St. Vincent, I didn't know anybody. And what I used to do, probably a comfort thing, I used to get on the van every single day travel to town and sit in KFC and eat chicken. So I used to go down the road and walk over the bridge and there'd be all these men that I don't know. I don't know them at all, they're just strangers. But people who know me know I've always got a screw face. I've always had a screw face. So imagine I used to walk across this bridge, my face set, screwed up, and I used to wear my cap to one side. And it's only later that it's only later on when some of the men them started to speak to me. This is a good while, like weeks, even months later, they slowly, slowly began to befriend me. One of the guys said to me, "You know what, English? We did think you was a madman because you used to have your cap one side and you should just bop a certain way and walk a certain way." But what it was, I was a London man. I was English, so I had an English swagger from the English streets. That's how I used to walk. But to them, they just thought, who's this English man? He looks like a madman. But it's my cousin, Nigel, who lived right next door. He kind of took me under his wing and showed me the ways of the Vinci and showed me certain things and helped me to settle in. It wasn't long after that I met a young lady, a young local lady, and before I knew it, she was pregnant, and I'm gonna be a father. And I've, I'm only 18 years old, and, I, and I'm in a strange land, it's not my home, and I'm missing England, but then I've got a baby on the way, and I'm like, wow, this is serious. 
and a lot was going on and I had to grow up quick. So my father bought me uh, a pickup truck, T9392. Those in Vinci know, know that pickup truck and know me to be driving it up and down. And I used to hustle to make my money. This was my pickup truck that I used to drive. Uh, everyone on the island knew this pickup truck and knew, yeah, English drove that. I mean, because that's what they call me. They call me English. And my other nickname was Chicken. So I used to use this to hustle to make my money. Used to offer a delivery service, go down to the shipyard when people used to bring over their barrels, ship their barrels over from like England and America. I'd approach them and deliver their barrels back to their house. So back then the going rate was like $25 per barrel. Uh, also used to go to the equivalent of B&Q approach builders offer to deliver their cement, their timber, etc. So yeah, I was 19 then, been there a couple of years. And by then I'd had a, I'd had a child as well. So there was a lot of pressure on my shoulders because I was missing England and, and I had all these responsibilities to deal with as well. Certain things were going on at home. Certain things were going on at home that I didn't talk about outside. And I started to drink. And those of you who know St. Vincent Rum, know St. Vincent Rum. It's the strongest rum on the planet. And I got into a habit where I was drinking rum every single day. And I'm talking straight, because that's how the man them out there drink the rum. Straight. Bam. Water. That's it. Straight. And it didn't take long before you were just, didn't take long before you lean up. So, there was one time when I had a near death experience. So I'm in the pickup truck and I've been drinking the rum down in the village. And there's me, my cousin Nigel, Papers, Trevor, and uh, one other person, I can't remember who it was. So Papers is in the passenger side, Nigel's on the back. Trevor and one other person, I can't remember who, and, and we drove to town and I had some more drink. I think I had a whiskey and then we're driving back. My sister was over to visit and we're driving back and I blacked out behind the steering wheel. And at this time we're driving high up on the valley, so we're high up. And I've passed out behind the steering wheel. Next thing I know, I've come around and I'm like, what's going on? And I've looked up and the electric pylon's sparking. And I've got out of the van and, and I could hear Nigel and the others rolling around in pain. And I've no I've looked now and I've and I've noticed that I've hit so I've I've blacked out behind the steering wheel. The van's obviously veered off and it's hit the electric pylon dead centre. Which means either side of that pylon, we would have gone straight over the edge, a long drop and landed on some houses and more than likely certain death. Now that shook me up. I didn't drive for about three months. But I didn't stop drinking. And I carried on trying to live my life over in St. Vincent, trying to look after my son. But things at home, there were some things going on at home what became too much. And I made the choice, an incident happened and that was it. And I made the choice, I sold the pickup truck, I bought my ticket and I flew back to England. Happened so quickly, I was gone within 10 days. I was gone. Packed a bag and I was out of there.
So I settled back in England. I had to readjust. Because I'd, I'd, I'd become a Vinci. I had the Vinci accent. And I had to readjust back to life in England. And I spent the last 30 odd years back in England. But now, I'm going back to St. Vincent for a visit. Big family reunion. It's my mum's 80th birthday. And I'm going back to St. Vincent after a long, long, long time. And I can't wait to go back to the village where I spent just over two years. So, before I fly out to St. Vincent, there's part of the story that I left out because I know my mum's going to watch this, but I've got to put it in because it played a big part in my decision to eventually go to St. Vincent because there was a time that I was going to rebel even though I was 17 and say, I'm not going nowhere, you're going to have to drag and you're gonna have to drag me on the plane, like literally. That's the mindset I had. But leading up to, the months leading up to me flying out, I was involved in certain crimes. And the week before we flew out, that same week, the beginning of that week, I'd beaten up a guy on the bus quite badly. And then the day before we flew out, literally the day before we flew out, I was at the pub having the last drinks with my friends because I wasn't going to see them again. And I got involved in another fight on the street outside the pub. And I came home that night and mum opened the door and I had blood all over my T-shirt, but I didn't realise because it was dark. And she said, where's all that blood come from? And... I quickly said, oh, mum, my friend was beaten up and I had to take him home. And she said, is he all right? I said, yeah, yeah, he's all right, he's all right. But truth of the matter is that blood belonged to the person that I was fighting with. And I couldn't admit it because I didn't want, didn't want my mum to think oh, I was a bad person, but it actually played a critical part in my decision because when I was on the plane flying to St. Vincent, I thought to myself, with all that I was getting involved in and the fighting, etc., maybe this is a good thing that I'm going to St. Vincent because I'm more than likely going to end up in jail because most of my friends did. Yes, English boy. Yeah. <laughs> English. Yeah, yeah. English. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm there. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 
So how did you get that job though? Summer. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We visited. So we visited the other day. We came on this slope actually. Mm. And it's on the other day I found it was here you were gonna be staying, I didn't realise it was here and we we're gonna have the thing here. I didn't realise it was here, I didn't even know. <laughs> Next morning, I decided to visit Freeland Village, the place where I spent over two years of my life. I had mixed feelings about the visit. I contacted my brother because he was going to be my cameraman for the day. Just waiting to go up to see my mess mm. Sorry, sorry. Got a mess to see my waiting at the bus. Just coming from the one bus. Get yeah, the next one. Funny vibes, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine it's a long time, innit? Yeah. It's a bun pan thing, it's a, it's a, it's a father's, yeah, grandfather's thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What you say, man? Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, Keep it up, man. Keep yeah, it yeah, 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 man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, 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 from the age of 17 to 19, lived in this village in St. Vincent. It's been a long time since I've been back here. It's walking up the hill now. Gonna see my mum. Get some of that good food. So how you feeling, Tash? It's quite surreal for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my first time in St. Vincent, but yeah. it's really lovely. Yeah. It, gives, it brings back a lot of memories, even yeah. when I went to Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah. I'm going certain places it just brings back yeah, those yeah. memories yeah, so, it's, it's, yeah, yeah the similarities right? yeah. Yeah. Mm. Aunt so who's, who's living there Aunt, oh Aunt Laverna used to live in this house yeah yeah so what was she like she was like, oh, a lovely woman so loving giving she was a love every time she saw me uh, uh, she would just light up smile yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She, she loved me man yeah who's living there this one here um, Charles, no, is that, yeah, Charles, Charles. Charles, okay. Mr. Charles, he used to drive a pickup truck. Ah. Oh. And his wife, well, I'm sure, I've checked with mum, I think she, I don't know, I think Mr. Charles definitely passed, but yeah, Mr. Yeah. Charles, I'm not sure he might still be there. Yeah, yeah. And this one, I can't remember the lady's name. Oh. Of course, yeah. So, mum's out. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mince room. There's a coconut there, isn't it? Yeah. Laxon's must be doing it. Laxon must be doing a bit of farming. A bit of. Look, look oh, different I'll there. I'll take it home, Wow, look at you. Is it Oregon? Oregon, oh, yeah. The Americans. Yeah. And, um, Herbs, see. Oregano. You see. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Is that mm. Let me do my season. Let me just put and this. Yeah. The one over there, French ticket time. You go and leave one here, so. Is that season too? Mm. You got any breadfruit, man? Hmm? Any breadfruit cut up? <laughs> <laughs> and I bought some. Yeah. I bought some. We went out last, and I bought some. Woman was selling. It. I got it, but I left it in the fridge at home. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got the extension. Isn't it? Yeah. I didn't remember uh, that. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is not true. Mm. Really Got a mosquito net. Oh, ah. oh, I see you got that bit there. So. I love my show, yeah. I mean, put on, when I came down, I before fish and I. It, this was paying weight, you know, before. And I oh. said, boy, it was too much work, too much cobweb. Come here. So now, when you painted it, this now. The cabinet, it, they're not going to the ceiling because oh. you know, it attracts them anymore. Attracts them, yeah, yeah. But, um, High ceiling. I tell you, yeah, I was going to the sides, the side, mm. to the side. You know? Just going to show the touch my old bedroom. This is my old bedroom. So this is like a spare room basically. No, this is uh, Julian's room. Oh, Julian's room. Julian's room, yeah, Julian's room, yeah. Yes, ma'am, um, two. Please. Mm. Yeah, it's a courtesy to be in there. I just come in here when I came here a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, t I was tempted to put it in my case, but I said, no, 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 I might end up in problems. Yeah, she's angry, she's going to send something. Let me know that you look good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more something, but I see a muscle. One more something, but I see a muscle. Why chest, why chest, why muscle? Give me love your muscle anyhow, me like people, you know. I'm okay. You know, you tell me pepper. Do you have a show now, you tell me how pepper. Yes, Nigel, yeah. yes. You know, Nigel, we have pepper. Yeah, good when pepper. Come, because know. it's coming on, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'm here, Jerry Coconut. Okay. And wait till me show me your arm, too. Mm. <laughs> yes, Nigel, see? Mummy's got it. He's and looking out for you already. Planting. You're spoiled. My, Nigel, you're spoiled. And brought fruit. Everything for you, oh, yeah. Nigel. Look at water, not too. The water, not too. Ah. None for you. Uh, None for you. <laughs> so is she, is she, is she, the door open. Is she relative? Uh, I think it's friend, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. You want me there? Yes, Oh, she going down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's my father and uncle here. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chicken, man. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Oh, yes, yeah, chicken. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Chicken. Oh, I see. 
chicken. Chicken. That's a good wife. Hey, this is Mrs. Chicken. Oh, man. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice, yeah, nice, nice to see you guys, man. That's my wife, yeah. My good friend. Alright, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you don't know. Yeah, man. You're you're good, driver, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. JJ, good man, cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 That's my friend, man. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. So you don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm introducing your daddy all the time too, because his daddy be shutting me all up too. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 So what we yeah. later? Yeah, yeah. Right. Good to meet you. Alright, nice one. Yeah, nice one, brother. That's a nice one. Yeah, is it yellow? Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yeah. yellow man, yeah. Yellow, yellow man. <laughs> Two yellow man. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah, my man. Let me just catch you. We have to catch you, man. Catch everybody. Yeah, man. You good? Yeah, man. Respect. Yeah, man. Respect to you, man. Father's wife. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. I'm his brother. Okay. Good nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. What's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Freddy. Freddy, ah. Yeah, man. Ah, it's nice. Good to see you, man. Okay. Who's next? My wife. Oh, oh hello. Your daddy? I'm Freddy. I'm Freddy. Yeah, my daddy. I'm my uncle right here. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we shook. I remember your daddy. How are you? Name <laughs> That's my daughter. Afro. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. Afro Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you think good? Yeah, going up here one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Oh. Grand Grand. When you live in love and you reject hatred, you sparkle. When you love in life and you love in hate, you sparkle. Yes, who's this man? Wow. Yeah, I think. Long time when I see him, brother. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'm, man. I'm brother, yeah? Mm. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah long man. time. Yeah. yeah. Yes, now. Yes. That's my wife. Ah, uh, Sobers. All right. A uh, Sobers, I heard the name. Yeah. Heard the name before, yeah, yeah. Footballer. Wow, wow. Footballer, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I already talk about Sobers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you do quite a lot of time? Yeah, you want it for a week, a quick pass through, uh, but yeah, come. My mum's birthday, she's going to be 80. Okay. Tomorrow, so we'll all come over here and celebrate with her. Yeah, yeah wrong. Yeah. We're going to be celebrating over Diamond over that way. Yeah. Over Diamonds? Yeah. Oh, Diamonds countryside? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll put him on this side. Oh. Yeah, you over there. You're going up there, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Well. Keeper. Yeah man, make that push you know man. Yeah, you too, I always man. remember going out, going out fancy with the pickup. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes, story, yes. Story. Yeah, yeah. Feel, he talks about that story so much time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't country man, feel, feel the guy next guy, he wanna drive. Yeah. I see man, if he, if he, man, if he, if he was, listen. If you listen. were driving, listen. I couldn't, yeah. I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do that driving. No. Yeah, I tell you man, that, 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 that is a hard road to go up in, yeah, I yeah. tell you. And I just run that in another time. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, after I got I end up and got two youth up there. Oh, is it all you got, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I got my first two youth up there. Right, right. And I 
and she was here this morning, but she got back out. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, my brother. Uh, Lovely, man. Uh, Mr. Sobers. <laughs> oh, so much. This is granddad's. This is, is the house has been bigger. Oh, oh. this is Oh, it's like. Who's this boy then? It's my son. Oh, yours, Lord. Yeah. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? Guy. Josiah. Yeah, Josiah. Josiah. Okay. Oh, Josiah. Yeah, Josiah. It's a nice name. Yes, yes. <laughs> you playing shy? Who is this? Who is this man? Your great grandfather, dear grandfather, and Yes. Yeah, he's trying to work it out. I guess this is Jerusalem. Yeah. Who is this? Who is this guy? Then who is this guy? I don't know. Yeah. His name is Isaac. We're uh, together. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Hope you're looking after her. Yeah. It's my family. <laughs> I know you. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know you are. It's my father. It's my uncle. Yeah. 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 Greg. 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 Of course. Yeah. This hiring Marby is perfect. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Take care. That's a big dashing. <laughs> Gee, it's massive. <laughs> Someone need to hold it so we get the size. <laughs> yeah, if you hold it, then because you, you sit like that, you, yeah. If you hold it, then you, can, then you know how big it because. Wow. <laughs> massive. Size of this dashing. <laughs> that is massive. See, yeah, put your hand there again. See? Wow. Good day, man. Pineapple. Oh, yeah. Pineapple, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot you. Good pineapple, see you. Yams. Yeah, as yams, eh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, as they dig them, they have yams under the ground. They grow under the ground. Under the ground, what? Yeah. 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 Wow. Pepper and Pepper, okay. Ginger. As ginger, what? This is ginger. <laughs> this is nah, you're living good, man. This is nice. Okay. Well, I will tea. Right. Right. That's a natural ginger. Boy. Boy, look. Ginger. Natural. <laughs> Fresh ginger. Yep. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. I'm making me miss Miss oh. Lisa now. <laughs> Peppers. Aniseed. As aniseed. Oh, yeah. Fresh aniseed. <laughs> Look at those, you can just relax. Spinach. No. Well, people that were saying about Curtis when, he, when they saw him. 
No, playing football, he got oh, more. Oh, oh. Yeah, they ask if he could play football. Yeah, they ask if he could play. Yeah. But when they say he go on the field and he started playing, they were shot. They was like, boy, he bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> they said, that's all my, my mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, get us to the match. They said, he should go watch you play too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, um, the where is she? Oh, where is she? Exactly. No, where is she? Where is she? Where the girls in? Where is she, man? Who is that? It's a very artistic phrase. Wait, this one? Oh. Hey, look. Oh, there's some up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're sitting down here to see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Susan. <laughs> this is like a little art gallery. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Freddy's Art Gallery. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah. too fertile. It grows right back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Is that how it is? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. If you want nutmeg, <laughs> pull nutmeg trees. So, got spices too. Jeez. Nutmeg. Jay's got, got good fruit trees. trees. Yeah, Pretty bad. This country is so fertile. This is Jay's backyard. So, um, it's back of the house. Let me go. Oh. Sit your nose. Right here. Mm. Back of the house. Banana, the banana trees, they look so big. The lemongrass, yeah. It's like uh, fruit loops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and apple jacks. Mm. You smell it. Mm. What about you? Is it dangerous? Oh, no, you, there's a stage you could go down. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But I usually go down there too. You go down and pick nutmeg, oh, cinnamon, tr uh, cinnamon tree. Yeah. So you cut it, you see it. Yeah. Some little herbal stuff. Freddie. Freddie, so he's giving him those things. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'm the brother, yeah, yeah. bless man, bless. Your uncle? Yeah, my no, uncle. Oh, your brother? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. 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 his wife. That's my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wife, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, he just pork man. a little visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pork. Yeah, um, mommy. Yeah, that's good pork. Okay, it's going to be 80 tomorrow. Oh, so come on, sit oh, yeah, that's yeah, a big yeah, number, that's a big number. Yeah, so, yeah. Mr. Garvey. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a little warm. Are you cooking? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make some Edwards, man. I love it. Oh, yeah. I have the gum food, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to some of this food today because this is really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good for your back, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for your back. Yeah, good for your back. We used to be head You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, though. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so good. yeah, we're good, man. We just yeah. heard him, heard him back. 
Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because this is because this is real Saint Vincent, isn't it? The real Saint Vincent. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice. That's how we live. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So we be living. Everything in the backyard. Everything yeah. peppers, yeah. pumpkin, yeah. all kind of thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just one type of weed. You know, cherry, bread food, mango. Oh, yeah, the cherry tree here. Yeah, yeah cherry, cherry. cherry. You see that bit. cherry on it? Yeah. Real things, you know. I still feel live. Yeah. You know, natural life. Yeah. Yeah, keep yeah. strong and all less cancer, less disease. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Hey doggy. Yeah. It's my fault. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, cousin too, man. Let me hold on. So I catch you, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, man. Respect to you. Yes, man. Okay. Yeah. Garnet. Garnet. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you like Elvis, man. Yeah. Ah. Leonard. Leonard, yeah, I'm some brother with brothers. Yeah. You see something on Facebook, nothing with bump and anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elvis gay. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you still live? We go on to the next door. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what them fixing the bikes and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just have them talk about yeah. 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 Yeah.